Let's understand the various types of anuman based on the causal relations. Now, as we have understood in our previous lectures, anuman could be classified based on three criterias and causal relation is one of those criterias. Based on the causal relations, we have three types of anuman that we would be understanding today and those are the Purvavat, Sesavat and Samantyodrasht. All these three are very very important to understand because they are based on the distinctions based on the Vyapti and that distinction based on the Vyapti was given by Gautama as well as under the Sankhya Darshan. So both of the theories, the Gautama, Gautama theory and the Sankhya Darshan focuses on the distinction of Vyapti. Now what is Vyapti? What is Anuman? We have covered in our previous lectures. You can refer that again. Just a quick recap of Anuman. It's something we being derived from the previous knowledge. Now, as we said, we have three types that we would be understanding today. The first two, the Purva Vrat and the Sesa Vrat, deal with the relation between cause and effect. The last one, the Samantya Drisht, does not deal with the relation between cause and effect. So let's understand the first one, which is the Purva Vrat. Now under the Purva Vrat, we are trying to understand there is a relation with the previous happening. Now, when I say there is a relation between the with the previous, we are trying to establish a cause and an effect relationship. But here, what happens is, the cause is perceived and the effect is unperceived. A very good example is, I see dark clouds in the sky. So that is a perceived cause. So the cause here is dark clouds that is visible and the effect is unperceived. We have not witnessed it so far, but we believe it could lead to heavy rainfall. So that is an unperceived effect. The rainfall has not happened so far. It is not perceived. Therefore, under Purva Vrat, we repeat again, there is a perceived cause that you have visualized, that you have observed, that is known, and there is an unperceived effect. And that effect is being derived only because there is a cause associated to it. Seeing the dark clouds in the sky, you are trying to relate it with heavy rainfall, which is not actually happened. It's just an unperceived effect. I am repeating this again and again because this is the most important section where most of the students get confused between Purva Vrat and Sesavat. Most of the questions that you would have in the exam would occur based on the example you would have to find out whether it is a Purva Vrat, Sesavat or a Samantya Drish. So if you are very clear with the concept here, any of the example that comes up becomes very very easy to solve. So there is a perceived cause, the cause has been visualized, observed and known but the effect here is unperceived. So we can also say there is a previous antecedent and a kind of inference of consequent. So antecedent, what is the cause and consequent, what is the effect here? In other words, similarly, if we talk about the same example of a smoke and fire that we have done before, so unperceived effect is seen from a perceived cause which is fire. So from the fire, you are seeing an unperceived effect that is smoke and that is an example of Purva Vrat. So that is how we understand Purva Vrat. Moving on to Sesa Vrat. Sesa Vrat is also known as Karirat Karan Anuman and here there is a perceived effect but what you are trying to relate to it is an unperceived cause. The thing that has happened, you are visualizing it, you are seeing it. But what was the cause behind it, you do not know. So there is an unperceived cause and you are trying to guess one of the causes for it. A very simple example is, you see a city flooding. Now, when you see a city flooding, it is a perceived effect. This is an effect, the city is flooding. But you are trying to develop an unperceived cause. You do not know whether rainfall had occurred or not. But you are saying because of the heavy rainfall, 
the city is flooding and this because of the heavy rainfall here is an unperceived cause and therefore it is sesavat so sesavat is always a effect that is known the previous cause you do not know so let's take another example a student fails in the examination the parents say that you have not studied now failing in the examination which is an effect is known but the cause might be the student has not studied the cause might be the student does not want to study or there could be n number of reasons but the cause is not perceived and therefore it is a sesavat so sesavat and purvavrat very very important the difference here is in sesavat i repeat again the cause is unperceived however in purvavrat the effect is unperceived the last is further interesting and this is what is known as samantyadrisht what happens in a samantyadrisht under a samantyadrisht let's say you go to a pond you see water around and at the same time you see few ducklings now you are trying to associate since there are ducks there should be water there is no cause and effect between the two things the two things can exist independently but based on what based on your experiences there is uniformity of coexistence that occur and there is where samantyadrisht happens so samantyadrisht can another example that we can help explain samantyadrisht would be let's say you are talking about liberation of soul and at the same time you talk about the karma that has happened now liberation of soul and karma both of those are independent but you usually try to say that there is coexistence if you do good karm there would be liberation of soul and you might go to heaven if you do not do good work or good deeds you might go to hell so there is a coexistence it it is not known it is not well established it's just through the things that you have heard around so that is samantyadrisht there is no cause and effect relationship that is being established it's only through the uh, through the apatvakya or the uh, sayings from some known people or there could be uh, cases where there are experiences usually we talk about experiences but since we are taken in example of soul experience is something that cannot explain it but yes the idea here is we are trying to explain things through experience so if you see duck you would tell a kid oh there must no, there must be water around and therefore there is coexistence that occur and this is what is known as samantyadrisht so these three types of anuman that we have focused on are very very important i repeat again purvavrat where the previous is known and there is an unperceived effect however under sesavat the effect is known and the cause is unperceived and samantyadrisht where there is no mutual uh, interlinking between cause and effect but there is uniformity of coexistence that occurs and that could be due to uh, experiences mainly so that is where we understand the three types of anuman we would be covering many more interesting lectures in indian logic and indian philosophy stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead